Well, hello there, YouTube. And listen to the silence that snow makes. It's like a sound absorber. <laughs> but it's a winter, winter wonderland once again out here. Very, very beautiful. But we're going to work anyway. Because I guess the highways are are in good shape despite the fact that it's 20 something degrees out here and everything stuck to it sure would be nice to just hang around and look at the beautiful snow today it's not supposed to get above freezing until later on today we got good four or five inches got a good amount it's weird that the ground retained heat though and it hasn't been that warm. It's so weird. Roads are uh, looking good. But look, I mean, it's cold enough. It's all sticking even on the smallest branches. It's weird that the ground retained that heat. Man, I just can't get over how beautiful it is out here. Let's see what the old barn looks like in a snow field. I just love that look of snow in the trees. I can't get enough of it. It's so beautiful. Busting out the last remnants of snow along the shoulder there. These are all the truckers putting uh, chains on because it's everything's froze up down south. Man, it's all over the news. All Kelly just telling me there was kids still in school at nine o'clock last night because the buses didn't run at the end of the day, and then the parents couldn't get to them. So this area got slammed. There's some more truckers chaining up. What most of these guys are going to be doing, most likely, is because it's just a a few miles away here, about three or four miles, is uh, taking the Columbia Gorge, I-84, and uh, going to head east. Yeah, and that, that thing is just a solid sheet of ice. Our crazy owner is going to drive, <laughs> drive a bunch of bikes they sold out of this store to our bin store. And, uh, that's a winter wonderland over there. So here's a couple bikes I put together. This is the F800R. That's a uh, Rotax built motor. It was uh, designed and everything by BMW, or yeah, BMW, but they, they're having Rotax build the engine. Comes in them complete and they install it in Germany. And if you don't know, Rotax is owned by BRP, who makes the spiders. So that's kind of a cool little thing. A little trivia, if you didn't know that. But uh, all I could do is right, take a loop in the parking lot, because it's still icy out there. That thing runs really good. That little sucker's impressive as all heck. I'm really shocked. And <laughs> it's in a, a state of disrepair because it just came out of the crate. But this is a K1600 GT. That's a bad boy right there. Whoops. She's got too many exhaust pipes if you don't notice. Because it's in line six. You guys seen a, a lighter colored version of this at school. This is one of the ones we worked on. Man, oh man, do we do a lot of work on these. A lot to know. That's just a protective cover. I always leave those things on until I'm done. I don't want anything slipping and scratching the dash or anything. Check that exhaust out. Look at the tail light. That thing's a beast. That's really cool. One of the coolest sounding motorcycles you'll ever hear. You have to pardon the mess out there between me building BMWs and my son building um, Yamahas today. We made quite a mess. But that'll all get cleaned up. Alright, so that's kind of what I've been goofing around with today. And sitting over there still. Got to keep coming over taking a peek at this. 
Yeah, man. That's the one right there. That one, this one will give you sleepless nights. And I still haven't posted the uh, motor vlog. I was so tired last night. I just didn't have it in me to uh, post a test ride of this yesterday. So uh, I'll try to do that tonight. Well, apparently it warmed up enough to, ooh, that's slushy down there and slippery. That it melted off most of the, uh, the white stuff. But it, wow, that's like frozen where I'm standing on. But uh, the next thing I was going to say is it's crazy cold out here. And I don't think there's any chance of snow for the next couple of days anyway. Yeah. Looks like this weekend or Sunday or something there might, might be more. But on that, we're going to roll towards the homestead. Yeah. just had to pull over <laughs> look at this deer that's made out of out of like wreath material whatever you call those little scrappling things but with all the snow and stuff I thought it'd be cool to swing by and stop and take a look at that isn't that cool see the snow on the roof it's very nice Merry Christmas. And then over here, Kelly says, I ain't getting out. It's too cold. It is. It's crazy cold out here. But they made like a Christmas tree out of this. But it's so cool looking with the snow and the tree and stuff. But look at the little train thing down there. And he got some little Christmas presents out. Looks like it had some lights on it, but they're not working anymore. Very festive. Who doesn't like all the Christmas stuff? I just like the way this guy does his house. I think that's very pretty. Nothing more than just traces out here crazy it's almost all gone and the main tractor out there they're officially done he loaded up his tractor today and took it the one crazy red thing that made all the noise it cut all the trees is still sitting there but everything else is gone <laughs> I know trouble Are you all excited yeah goodbye snow for this little bout I'm coming, woman. I was following you. Well, hello there, YouTube. How are you guys doing tonight? It's a chilly one out there. <laughs> I know. It's been cold it's all day. Cold. It must have got up to something today because all the whiteness. It, what's amazing is everything's still stuck in the trees. It's so pretty. You can see with the headlights, but I took a couple of clips with the camera. It's just not enough light to pull it out. But it's just a, like a winter wonderland. But the roads are awesome. And anything like our driveway is mostly gravel. So it's melting off of anything that's like road surface, sidewalks, gravel. Must have been some heat down in here. Maybe there's a volcano under, under the ground <laughs> or something. Yeah, there's hidden heat. But somewhere. anything that's above ground in the trees or whatever, even in the twigs, the snow, little snow is still hanging out in there. So... Anyway, I love it. Love the look of the snow. It's so beautiful oh, in those trees. Beautiful. Man, really, really pretty. Then that owner taking off and going to Bend, which is, wow, normally from Vancouver to there, I think it's, I don't know, five or six hour trip or something like that. No. He's probably he's spent all day. Soul. He's taking his wife there. I think they're, because they're supposed to get, well, they got a foot last night of snow and I think they're supposed to get another 18 his son was talking about it a little bit but uh, I would imagine that 
He's taking his wife over there to gonna do some winter wonderland festivities. Yes, <laughs> I hope they have fun. They're yeah. sweet people. Oh yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. Um, I, I've I've made the video up to this point, and I'm cracking up in there. I had no idea. I don't, I don't look at the camera when I'm going down the road for obvious reasons. You just kind of point, you know. And you can, as you're right along, you can get a glance and get like an idea. But you, you just can't look at the at the camera. You just learn to point it, you know. And um, anyway, I had no idea that that was actually an ambulance coming up behind us. And I, I, I think it's just funny as hell when you watch this. Everybody's, I'm sure at this point you're thinking, damn. And smokes and got themselves a speeding ticket out in the <laughs> driving out in the winter out there. No, it's just an ambulance that for whatever reason was in no hurry. He's just slowly creeping past us. And uh God, we followed him forever. Where did he turn oh he turned Woodland. off Woodland to go towards the Walmarts and all of a sudden the siren, you know, as we're passing over he's going underneath the freeway. There sets a siren off. It's, Dude, you drove that far with in no hurry, now you get to Woodland and you're in a big rush, siren going off? I don't know. I don't know what he is up to. But. So, uh, today, building more. Uh, I filmed the the little F800R. It's not, why, why I keep saying little. 800 cc's is not a small motorcycle. No. You know, that, that thing, man, I think it makes like 86 horsepower and the boodle is a torque. That is a going little, so I, of course, I don't know. I, I got to test the uh, traction control on it. Every time I touch the gas, it right. Well, jeez, just still too slippery out there to, yeah, to play. Yeah, it, it was slick. I just it drove, was so cold all day. Yeah, I drove down. I was gonna actually just um, put it in the uh, uh, dot com downstairs, but uh, that, a bunch of the employees there live in mountainy areas and stuff, and they just couldn't get to work today, so they uh, they shut that down early. Well, it wasn't that early, but when I went down there. But, um, you know, that K1600's my next victim. She was just fresh out of the out of the crate. The, the dust, you gotta, you can't bang or cut or anything like that. You have to pry all the boards off of the, off of the crate. Well, when you're doing that, the dust from the wood goes all over the bikes. I, 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 the first thing I do, I get them on my rack and I blow them all off. And I didn't even do that before I filmed. So that's not the way that, I mean, it looks a lot prettier. And, of course... Part of the PDI is to wash it as part of the preparation. Oh man! Oh, um, um, you'll see the link underneath. That's our uh, BMW uh, website. It's not, you know, it's there and it's functional and everything, but uh, we're not turning the site searchable, I guess you could say, until um, the showroom's done. We start you know have the bikes out on display and stuff like that which is coming along kind of quickly I guess they're talking about different things they're about to do and stuff like that so that'd be cool when uh, can't wait when we roll the bikes and wah, put the display <laughs> on the floor then when you if like if you were to search BMW of Vancouver Washington if you search BMW of Vancouver you'll get the Vancouver BC one right now but anyway um, if you want to look at the site and Check out all the BMWs. Our site is there, and the link is is below. That's kind of cool. I didn't know the thing was even live. I guess it's been hanging out there for the last couple of weeks. And I go, what? I must have missed the email somewhere. <clears throat> I'm still dreaming about that R1200 GS adventure, and then having that thing sitting over there where I can see it is not a good thing either. And um, the logging is done. They're, they're done with it. So he's just pulling equipment out now. Well, I hear him first thing this morning out there driving around. I said, he's not out there in all that snow. And he's, he's doing something out there. And there's a semi-truck out there. And and I don't... I, all you can see is lights. It's dark out there. Yeah. You know, so you just see lights and you hear the noise, but you have no idea what they're doing. Pull in a little bit there, woman. I'm sorry. What are you paying attention to? You're hanging out there way, uh, off, way off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was a snowy day. The ride to work wasn't bad. There's a few slippery spots, but yeah. nothing. It's not like 
Yeah, once we hit the road, we were good. Yeah. And most of that stuff hits south, the big time south. But, uh, yeah, Portland was really, really bad last yeah. night. So took people like, you know, five, ten hours to get home. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. Nuts. I'd hate to be messed up in that stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um... Mission property road. You think so? That's it? Yeah, I think so. I think we're out of time. Oh. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I guess we're gonna have to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I nag so much. I'm sorry. No. Anyway, you guys take care. We appreciate you watching very, very much. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to like, and you guys have a good one. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Sounds good. Until tomorrow. There should be a whole lot less snow out there tomorrow. Whatever dissipates, evaporates, because it ain't melting, because it's cold out there. Oh, I know it. And they're talking like Saturday and Sunday, more snow. Yeah. So. It keeps coming around. Yep. It's that time of year. Well, at least we're getting some this year. We got one little thing last year, and that was it. I know. I mean, one like... shot, and that was all. I think Vancouver just got a, when we got that, I don't know, what was it, about six or eight inches that one time we yeah. got. And um, last year, or it might have been earlier this year, I, I don't remember. Um, winter of 15, 16, that's all. <laughs> but um, that was it. And Vancouver just got a light dusting. They go, you guys got snow? I go, yeah. Yeah. But it rained, that was that weird thing. It rained overnight and just took it away. And you never saw it again. Yeah, that was it. That was all for 15, 16. But anyway, I guess we'll chit chat with you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys very much, Thank as you always. Take care, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. It's all that happy time of year, you know, know, Christmas and everything. Everybody's all snuggly inside. Yeah, sitting by the fire. Well, some of you guys are on the reverse den. It's like the middle of your summer. Oh, I know it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're cold. Can we have some of your heat and we'll yeah. give you some of our cold? I guess we'll do a little trading here. Mm-hmm. All right. Until tomorrow, we'll see ya. Take care, everybody. Yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.